EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the StubHub Center, 20 miles south of downtown L.A. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the Baltimore Ravens and the Los Angeles Chargers. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Well, how about that adrenaline? First play of the game, and we have a catch that we're going to talk about probably the rest of this game and straight into the highlights. Right out of the gate. What an effort. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Lock 15. First down, Rivers. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Right, right, right. Set, green 80, green 80. They'll run. This is Melvin Gordon. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. And that was a good run. This was only one of nine guys to go over 1,000 yards in 2017. And I think you can't let him run wild here. What do you think, 100 yards, the measuring stick? Always. That is the threshold. You want to keep him under that if you want to play good defense. Rivers from the gun on third down. Gets it to Benjamin. It's caught. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Rivers to Benjamin. Good for the Charger first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there, keeps the sticks moving. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45 yard line. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Following the penalty, here's Gordon. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. Sets up the screen to Gordon, and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tucker roll that they can fall back on anymore. So on fourth down, here's the veteran left-footed punter Donnie Jones to kick it away. Back deep to return is Cyrus Jones. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. 
The Baltimore Ravens, what a game they were in at Kansas City last week. Did lose it 27-24, but a heck of a game. And for the Ravens at 7-6, and six, they're still in control of that sixth seed in the AFC. And that's all that matters, okay? You lose the ball game, but as long as you're still in playoff position and you get to control your own fate, you got to feel good about that. Lamar Jackson had his fourth hey, NFL start. Continues to look good in spots, especially when he's running the football. In fact, Baltimore had rushed for over 200 yards in three games with him as the starter coming into that one. Joe Flacco's healthy. Can't beat him out because they're playing better on offense with Lamar Jackson. I just love how they push Kansas City absolutely to the brink before Harrison Butker won it in overtime for KC. Last three games pretty manageable. Tampa Bay and Cleveland at home. They do have to go to the Chargers, however. Up at the 29 now. They'll head to the line. Second and a yard. Hurry up, here we go. And they'll go on the ground. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Hurry up, here we go. Green. They go play action here on first down. Incomplete. He was trying to get it to Michael Crabtree there. That'll bring up second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Here we go now. Green. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. All right, here we go. They go play action now. Jackson looking deep downfield. And a shot taken on third down unsuccessful fourth down now. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So possession of the football back to the Los Angeles Chargers. Chargers right now 10-3. and three. Last week, the defeat of Cincinnati. Close game, but they did win it. And Phillip Rivers, first time all year that he has not thrown for two or more touchdown passes. He had done that in 13 straight games. Yeah, how about that? Big time year. Great protection he's been getting. Targets downfield. Obviously, Keenan Allen is number one guy. And lately... They've gotten it done without Melvin Gordon. They could get him back for the stretch run towards the playoffs. And they've got a big one coming up on Thursday night, don't they? Yeah. Headed to Kansas City. It'll be cold and crisp there, but what a big ball game. A lot on the line. It's going to be fun to watch. A second down throw for Rivers. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Travis Benjamin that time, and it's third down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Play fake to Gordon. Now Rivers. And this is going to be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Here's Donnie Jones now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And now here come the Ravens. 
The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? All right, here we go. Boom, landed. And they'll run it here. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. He'll be brought down at the 43. Joey Bosa in on the stop. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Four down, four down. All right, here we go. Jackson looking to throw on third. And that is incomplete. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. Here's Sam Cook now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. They'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. And not much there as he gets it up to about the five-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And while they hope to continue this drive, it's really already mission accomplished. They've given enough space now that they have to punt the ball. They've done so with that first run. Ready. Back near his goal line, Rivers. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. The intended receiver there, Allen, and it's third down. There's a lot about that play you could easily see coming. Backed up in the shadow of their own goal line, you know they're going to face pressure. He's lucky his arm was going forward. It was close, but it was going forward. Yeah, it could have been a safety or even given up a defensive touchdown. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Now Rivers. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Here's Donnie Jones now as he's on to punt for L.A. Jones on the return. <laughs> Jones breaking from the contact. Nearly a huge return, as it is still a very good one. 24 yards. And the Ravens set up well to begin their drive, as it'll begin in enemy territory already. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And they'll go with the ground attack here. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. <laughs> on second down, here's Jackson. His throw caught right around the six. 
And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. He got 29 yards that time. First red zone chance now for the Ravens. They've got it first and goal at the six. They come out here in the eye. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. Jackson now throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. That one was intended for John Brown, and it's third and short. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. This could very well be four down territory, but right now we focus on third and goal from the one. Hey, 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 hey. Set, Jackson. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Whenever you see a team deciding to throw the ball in third and one, as a defensive player, my mindset is we've got them now, and that's why they dialed up the blitz and got after them. But occasionally, you want to pass it on third and one. I mean, not a lot for sure, but sometimes just to keep the defense guessing. Oh, no doubt. You want to break tendencies as you go along with the game because you don't want them to just say, oh, third and one, we know exactly what they're going to do. But in this situation, as an offensive lineman, as a running back, I'd want to know why I didn't get the football. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points, not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And wouldn't we love to have the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football that says finish on it? Because that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. The results for them so far, not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet. You're trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice, and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? They'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. Room to run past midfield. And all the way down to the 41-yard line. That good for 22 and a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. They go back to Gordon here on first down. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Second down, they'll run with Gordon. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, in on the stop. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. The Chargers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and six. Back now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Chargers here with a the football. They're looking at a third and six here to start things out. Working out of the gun, Rivers. He's got his man here. It's Green. 
And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Now Gordon on first down. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Set. No time. Rivers going to turn and give this one to his running back, Gordon. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Set, Delta! They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. Second and goal from inside the five. They'll give it to him up the middle, and he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. So now it's third and goal. This Raven defense trying to keep him out of the end zone. Set, block 15. They'll try and punch it in. Gordon. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. And they might think about going for it here, but it's still just the second quarter. Take the three points, tell the defense you believe in them, and let them get the ball back for you. The Chargers will bring out the field goal unit now. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. A good drive gets him inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. Now Jones. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And the Ravens taking the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And on the ground they go with a running back. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot. 18 yards. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. All right, here we go. Play action. Now Jackson, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. 
Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. All right, here we go. And they'll go on the ground. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a yard, and they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. All right, here we go. There's Jackson on third and long. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Joey Bosa in there to get him for his second sack of the night. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel oh. so, I could pay the, so I could pay the proper price. Okay, how much were they? A dime? What were they? About 15 cents. They'll call that a 61-yard punt. He got all of that one. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that <laughs> offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that will help him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Too bad. I don't know about that. Bad. <laughs> Super tall. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pick up so here's a first and 10 at the 38 a first down throw here for Rivers this is Gordon on the dump off and he'll be brought down right at the 45 yard line it's a gain of seven and that'll bring up second down Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Set, set from, 80. from the shotgun, it's Rivers. Over the middle, he's got Tyrell Williams. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 at a first down. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play. But what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything. And sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? <laughs> and what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Set, Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets them into a third and one situation. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing, 
often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. The Chargers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. A great effort there. Scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Chargers are able to strike for six. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is now 10 to 3. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Now Jones. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Now let's go! Boo, On second down, Jackson. Ball nearly picked. And maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Jackson from the shotgun. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Here's Sam Cook now. He's been terrific so far. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Chargers. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. Here's Rivers. Caught left side, Williams. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't it? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. 
from the gun, Rivers. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. The Chargers on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and five. To the air again here, Rivers. Benjamin with it over the middle. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Rivers now 10 of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first and 10. Rivers now to throw on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. It is tough to complete passes against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against his zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. Set, 390. Set. Throwing again, Rivers on second and 10. And he comes back with one complete. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout. As it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. The Chargers on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and five. Set, ground 80. Behind. Rivers again. And he couldn't hang on. Almost an interception there defensively. Instead, it brings up fourth. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Again, it's Rivers. Gets it to Benjamin. It's caught. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. They were caught in no man's land that time, but the decision to go for it, that was the right one. It's a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Final play of the half, Rivers. Green with a catch left side. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Coach. Appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And they'll run it here. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made. And that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Hurry up, here we go. 
And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Right back to him on first down. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. They'll run with Allen. And an alley to run. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Buck Allen, 34 yards. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. And on his way to the end zone, shedding the tackle, he would not be denied. That's what's called finishing the run, making sure you power your way through. One-on-one -on -one tackle. No running back wants to go to the bench and say, ah, I got stopped just short. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and we are even at 10 apiece. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Now a look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. So Rivers will lead the Chargers up first and 10 at their own 23. Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and 11. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Rivers now on second down. Going underneath for Gordon. Takes this up just short of the 30, but he was able to avoid that earlier tackle. Nice move. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll be third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Rivers from the gun on third down. Throws left side complete to Keenan Allen. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Here's Jones. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Ravens offense now, they get set to head back on the field. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go. Blue line it. The drive starts with a run by Allen. And takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Hurry up, here we go. 
Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. The Ravens on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. Here it's third and two. All right, here we go. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. I know they want to go for it here, and I know that their fans want them to go for it, but listen, I'm going to play head coach right here and look at the facts. Tie game, plus, even if you get the first, you still got a half a field to go. I'll go ahead and punt the football myself. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drop. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. To throw is Rivers. Man open left side, it's Williams. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards on the play. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now the handoff comes to Gordon. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Zadarius Smith able to get him down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. This is Gordon as they go to him again. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. The Chargers on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. This time they face a third and two. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle and the extra effort moves the sticks. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. The busy night continues for Gordon as he gets it here. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Now a handoff. This is Gordon. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Ready. Third and short yardage, Rivers. And able to find Green. And they'll wind up getting this with all the way down inside the 20. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Now a 20th carry, number 20 here for Melvin Gordon. And he'll get this down only to the 18. 
just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Second down, Rivers. And this will be incomplete. He was looking for Mike Williams that time. And it's third down. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. On third down, Rivers. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers are going to take the lead. Man, he just ran a terrific route. Extremely hard to defend when it's run that precisely and the ball's delivered that accurately. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes it a 17-10 score. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Now Jones. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here comes the Raven offense now ready for another possession. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Hurry up, here we go. On second down, Montgomery. <laughs> And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here we go now. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Back now at the StubHub Center in Carson. It's the Ravens with possession of the football, but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Michael Crabtree, the intended receiver, and it's third and four. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. The Ravens on third down. They're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. This is third and four. From the gun, Jackson. He was looking for Nick Boyle that time. 
Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. They go play action here on first down. Flushed out right. And he'll get it down here to the 43. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say, play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Jackson looking to throw on third. He gets it to Brown, good play. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. A big one there for the Ravens, it goes for 18. He's such a good route runner, shows it there on third down, very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's gonna have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they connected there and picked up the first down. That's caught by Montgomery. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and it'll be a second down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why, what we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. It's a gain of four there, and it gives them a new set of downs. Ordinarily in short yardage, most people don't run a toss because it takes a little bit longer to develop. But some teams see it as a very physical type run because the amount of people that get out in front of the runner, offensive linemen, tight end, sometimes an extra back, they like to run that play there and try and run over people. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. A gain of three, second down. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Now let's go! 3 19. And they'll go on the ground. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Uh, still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. Now Jackson. And this is going to be intercepted. Desmond King picks it. He was looking for Crabtree that time. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners, who have had the receivers on lockdown. And to the right side here, it's Allen. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Rivers now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Throwing, Rivers. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. 
you never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Now Rivers going to give to Gordon on the draw. And it'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. It's a gain of seven on the ground, but they'll be faced with third and long. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Third and 11. And some extra depth of the secondary here. They're in the dime. Play fake to Gordon. Now Rivers. Oh, did he hang on to it? He did on the dive. Nice grab. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. And that's how you throw for a whole heap of yards in a game. You get efforts like that from your receivers. How about him laying out for that catch? Yeah, excellent. Makes the quarterback look a whole lot better. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Set, 380. They'll run it now out of the gun. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. They keep it on the ground again, Gordon. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll make it third and 13. Set, run 80. Set. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And incomplete on the deep ball. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to, you and your brothers, just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle it yourselves. <laughs> I like that, yeah. There was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Through the interception in the red zone, costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. So he got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll make this a second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Green, 39! Now Jackson on second down. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by Melvin Ingram. And this is going to be a Charger touchdown. Little bit of a backbreaker right there. You're down close, one score game, trying to push the ball down the field and score, and you throw a pick six. And sometimes you take a little bit of a gamble when you're making your throws, right? Sometimes you press it a little bit more than maybe you wanted to because you want that score so badly. In this case, it cost them. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead now up to 14. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. 
Now Jones. <laughs> and he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we were having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass, and then finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. This quarterback now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Now let's go. Three, 19. From the gun, it's Jackson. And he lost the football. But it looked like a Raven was able to get in there, and they will indeed keep the possession. And a little bit of good fortune there. He wasn't able to get it back, but he did have a teammate on the spot able to retain possession for them. Second down, here's Jackson. And incomplete there, a nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. On third down, Jackson to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. He got out of bounds. That's a good thing, but still short of the first. And now, since this brings up fourth down, the defensive play caller, grab your nerves because now you don't want to be so amped up that you give them a first down by getting out of your lanes, but you also don't want to just lay back and let them have it easily. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. And that is incomplete. John Harbaugh not afraid to go for it. This time doesn't work out. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. So now with a little over two minutes to play, the road back gets very difficult. Difficult, but still not impossible if they go ahead and play this thing out. Now the defense has to come up big. They've got to go for a strip of the football on each and every snap to try and give themselves a chance. This is Gordon. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charge your first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Right back to him on first down. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Hey, four down, four down. Set, 380. Here's Gordon. Powerful running. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. 
And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Set green 80, set green 90. Cut. On third down, this is Melvin Gordon. And he'll get nothing out of that one. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. This to make it a three-score game late. And did he have enough? He did. He kept it online and managed to tuck it into the bottom right corner. And that will extend their lead even further. So with that, you figure uh, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Now Jones. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. They're down big here late. I don't know, you just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out up. of here and do something some <laughs> other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as they continue to as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. And down he'll go at the 25. Call it a gain of three, and it'll make it second down. Jackson from the shotgun. He's going to dump that off to his running back, Montgomery. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll step aside and come back to Carson after this. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Hurry up, here we go. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, here we are in December, of giving. right? It is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. from Rivers, and that should be it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Well, as always, partner, an extreme pleasure to share a booth with you. I, 
I, I have to say, I am impressed at your discipline because you came here and you said you were not going to eat any of the media buffet. <laughs> you made it to the end. You didn't consume a single calorie. I appreciate that. What you missed is me going to the concession stand outside of your <laughs> eyesight and getting it you done cheated. that way. Look, I mean, they were serving the good stuff. I had to do it. Oh, man, but you're, you're svelte in good shape, but yeah, you cheated a little bit. We'll let it slide. I appreciate that. Always a pleasure to work with you. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night, everybody.